Nowadays, slow down, Charlene. If Baipu finds out about us, what are we going to do? How can she find out? She's an illegitimate daughter. She can't compare to you. I'm just playing with her. Sweetie, a kiss. <laughs> I just saw it with my own eyes. Xiangling and your sister entering the hotel and hugging each other. They also kiss. Are you really going to listen to your mom and marry this playboy? Mom, I will follow your wishes. I will marry this guy on my 25th birthday to repay him for saving you. But... Assistant, bye. He's unkind. Don't blame me for being unjust. He's playing his game. I couldn't possibly for this man keep myself pure. Who is there? Xiangling slept with Bai Liu. I will sleep his young uncle. In terms of size, looks and ability, he's no match for Lu Chao Ho. Are you single? Assistant Bai. <laughs> Have you had enough? I guess so. I worked three years for you. I never saw any woman beside you. It's been remarked that you are important. Please, get out. What do you want? I want to see if my stroller can do it. Assistant Bai, how dare you sleep with me? Mr. Liu, can you do it? How do you like this cigarette? You can try it. I'm afraid of getting addicted and can't beat it. When you slept with me, aren't you afraid? I am. But I've admired Mr. Liu for a long time. I'm willing and glad to do it. Do you think that I'll believe in what you said? You and my nephew, he'll be married in three months. How dare you flirt with me? You got a lot of nerve. You know about yesterday, one is my fiancé, one is my sister. I can't believe that they cheated on me. So that's why you came to me. I warned you, even though Zhang Lin is my nephew, you can't use me as a revenge tool to get back at him. Otherwise... Otherwise what? You don't want to know that. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Hello, Uncle. Is Bai Pu in the company? I called her, but she didn't answer. I thought she's your assistant, so I called you. Yes, she's there. Something wrong? No, no. That's fine. I'm gonna hang up. Okay. He'll lie for me. It seems that Uncle doesn't have feeling for me. Don't call me that. I tell you. You can't just show up at my place anytime. I'm not the person that you can mess with. Understand? The words you say are cool, but your body is honest. Assistant Pei, this is Chang Xuan financial statement for the previous year. Please send it to Mr. Lu. Thank you. Mr. Lu, here's what you asked for, previous year's financial statement. Distribute these documents. Find another conference room for the afternoon and call the marketing director. Okay. Uncle. Assistant Bai, what do you want from me? If I say it. It's poor joy in bed. Well, can't Jiang Lin satisfy you? How can he compare to Mr. Lu? There are rumors that Mr. Lu is important. Last night, it was clear. Stop. Okay, Mr. Lu. I will deliver the documents. 
Uncle is amazing. I really like it. By Pooh, you better not play with fire. Stop. Where did you go last night? Out all night. Where do you keep the by family rules? It doesn't seem to concern you. What's more, you said that I was all all night. How about you, sister? What do you mean? You have no shame since you were a kid. And now you're accusing Xiao Liu. Last night, I saw you fooling around with some man. You're so shameless. <gasps> Mom! You bitch! Shut up! Who's that fool here? Don't you know what's going on? How dare you beat my mom? I'm going to tell that to cancel the marriage between you and Charlie. What? Sister in such a hurry to substitute me. You... The engagement was made before my mom died. So, even if you want a sister, even if he's rooted in the mud, I won't let you marry him. <laughs> you... Tell. Mom knows I'm going to die. Mom is most worried about you. You and Charlie knew each other since childhood. When mom was kicked out of the Bai family, when I got the heart attack, if he hadn't taken me to the hospital, I won't survive. He's a good boy. Mom is in charge. You're in charge with him. The marriage will be held next year on your birthday. All my life, I married the wrong person. <laughs> Mom, hope you're happy. <laughs> Mom, you are wrong. Men are no good. Men are all just for fun. Hello. I'm at Basha Club for work. Did you have time to come? Yes, coming soon. But, Mr. Lu, you can call during this time. Is this for business or personal needs? By Pooh, I warn you. It was an accident last time. There won't be next time. We have a working relationship. When there's one, there's two. Mr. Lu, it's not up to you. Wow, Mr. Lu, good. What a big love of wife. What were you with last night? Sit here. Little Putal, come here. Come, sit here. Mr. Song. Sit, sit, sit. Assistant Bai, come here. Go, go, go. Mr. Lo, little Putao, in three months, you will marry your nephew. You must protect yourself. You can't stop eating. Little Putao, look at your boss neck. What a big love by. Who knows which which woman he was last night. Did it until sunrise? You've been with him so long, you know who it is? I don't know. Yeah, I know Mr. Lu for a long time. Every time we go out, he doesn't bring any girls. Unbelievable. That's straight. It's just the two of us tonight. Why you bring little Pooh out? It's not for business. No way. You two slept together last night? Mr. Song, don't tease me. Mr. Lu is my fiancé's uncle. How can he and his new view's wife have such a relationship, right Mr. Lu?
Mr. Song, today we're going to talk about the new materials. Do you think this year the price can be lower? If little Puto said so, it's easy to deal. Let's drink. Sorry, I need to powder my nose. It's me. Let go. I have to get back to my business. Didn't you have a nice discussion just now? Just now? Mr. Liu, are you saying that I drank with Mr. Song? Or do you want to admit that the woman you slept with last night was me? Didn't Mr. Lu say there's no next time? You broke up with Jung Lin. Mr. Lin lies. This relationship between you two. Leave me out of it. We're adults. I don't need you to be responsible for me. Why do you have to make it so clear? As for us, we know each other. You really don't want to try with me? Or you think it's more exciting in this way? Assistant Bai, you followed me for three years. It's the first time I saw you this way. I grew up together with your nephew. I just realized it in the last couple of days. He and my sister cheated on me. So I asked you, do you think human to human we completely know each other? You mentioned him on purpose. You can just allow the official to set the fire and not the people to light the lamps. Uncle. Uncle. There's a family dinner tomorrow. Grandfather really wants to see you. I'll be there too. I'll take my girlfriend together. I know you're busy. If you don't have time, I can reject grandfather's invitation. Girlfriend? You know, my fiance Bai Pu. I will go. Zhao He, I heard that Pu Dao is your assistant. She'll be your nephew's wife. You don't want her to suffer at work. The Cheng Chuan group has always been fair. Never set a precedent for someone. Grandpa, don't worry. My baby's a great worker, but she's so busy that she doesn't even have time to meet me. I miss her so much. If I hadn't heard it myself, there was she saying in bed with my sister. I didn't know you were such a good pretender. Puto and Jiang Lin, you've been together for seven years. Your marriage will be held in three months. I wonder whether Puto has any ideas. Grandpa, well... Uncle isn't even married yet. My wedding to Chiang ahead of uncle may be improper. Putao is right, Zhao He. Even Putao the junior is caring about your life's event. Grandpa, for many years, uncle doesn't even have a woman around. I thought he didn't like women. Well, I indeed don't like women, especially bold women. Babe, what's wrong with you? Nothing. I've checked out my food. All right, the food's getting cold. Let's eat. Have a glass of water. What's the sticky on your neck? Heidi? Maybe I was beaten by mosquito last night. You know, I have a sensitive skin. Bitten by mosquitoes, it will be like that. Not to mention one I'd be bitten several times. <laughs> you don't even know this. You don't think I'm cheating on you, do you? Babe, of course not. I just care about you too much. That's why I misunderstood you. Needless to say, trust is something that when broken, it's hard to fix it. You just suspect me of cheating. Why don't we just break up? The wedding in three months, we need him to prepare for it. 
Uncle, what are you laughing about? Oh, nothing. Grandpa, I fool. I will go home first. Babe, I, I, I'm busy now. I may not be able to send you home. Okay. I'll go back to the company. Assistant, by together. Dad, I'm leaving first. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, we'll find out. What? Now you're afraid of being caught? Good morning, Assistant Pai. Morning. Good morning, Mr. Luke. Very bad behavior. The child, huh? Mr. Lu asked you to report the progress of documents organized last week. Why don't you go? I'm not his assistant. Come in. Mr. Lu, you asked me to organize the material last week. I finished it, so shall I bring it to you now or when you have time to check it out in person? Bring it here. Okay. Anything else? Aren't we going to Belsa tomorrow? I will book the room. One room or two rooms? Assistant, bye. It's working time. I know. So I'm serious too. I'm talking to you about work. <laughs> you. you are. It seems that you're looking for more excitement. Uncle, are you there? I'm coming in. It looks like Zhang Lin is about to find out. Assistant Bai, aren't you afraid? Mr. Lu doesn't want Zhang Lin to know either. You're with his fiancée. Get in. Uncle, I brought Putao's favorite cake. Stop by to pay you a visit. Where is Putao? No need for a visit. There are important things to take care of. You can leave. Assistant, bye. It's working time. Okay. But, Uncle, the flavor in your office is very familiar with that of Pu Tao, the usual perfume she uses. Bai Pu is my assistant. She's been in and out of my office a lot. Maybe she left it. What's the problem, huh? Nothing. I just casually say. So where is Pu Tao? I don't know. I don't have the time. Keep an eye on your girlfriend. I'll call her.
Why did Putao's phone suddenly turn off? Uncle, what was that sound? I heard it. It seems that it's under your desk. My phone dropped. I have a meeting. You can leave now. Okay, Uncle. You go ahead. I'm going to find Putao. Jiang Lin almost found out. Are you gonna continue? If you're not afraid, me either. But if you want to end it, I'm not trying to keep it. I gotta back to work. The phone? Are you really going to work or to coax Jiang Lin? <laughs> Mr. Lu, are you jealous? Assistant Bai, I do think you're shrewd. I can't believe you're playing with two men. Wow. Mr. Lu, you're admitting to be obsessed with me. If I can really charm you, it's my pleasure. Bai Pu, I said I'm not someone you can just mess with. Hello? Pu Tao? Where are you? I called you many times. But nobody answered, and then it turned off. I just went out. I have something to tell you. What? I'll meet you. I brought you a cake to your company today, but didn't find you. Changling, I want to see you live better. When the hell are you going to dissolve the engagement with Baipu? Changling, you have promised me to be with me. Wait a little longer. However, Putao, she's getting detached towards me recently. Baipu must be with someone else. You might be a cuckold and you don't know. Why don't you just take this opportunity and break up with her? I'm sure Baipu isn't that kind of woman. I will give you two months. If you don't break up with her, I will tell everyone about this. Putao, I have something very important to tell you. Pick me up at the hotel. I can't wait, sweetie. Hang on. I will take a shower first. Hello. Uncle, please help me. Changlin and I were at the entire hotel room 369. Can you come over? Your couple stuff? What's it to me? Will you come or not? I can't get away from work. Are you really willing, Chaolin, touching me? Hello, Uncle. Are you looking for Putao? How did you know she is with me? Called your fiance, but nobody answered. If not, then who? Uncle, you looking for Putao? Anything important? There's an urgent business trip for a project in Bincheng. I'll pick her up in half an hour. Now? Any problem? No, work first. My uncle is a real workaholic. It's late. He still asks you to go on a business trip. He really doesn't like women? It's not that he doesn't like women. He likes your woman. Didn't expect uncles here so soon. It's an emergency. I have to be quick. Where's Baipu? Call her out. Baipu, are you ready? I'm coming. Let's go. Putao, away from home. Take care of yourself. Uncle, be sure to take care of Bai Pu. Don't worry. Go back to bed. Go. I thought you said you weren't coming. I thought I was on my own. 
Don't you just love a little excitement? Uncle is a real liar. He says he won't come, but it took less than 15 minutes to get here. Probably, Uncle cares a lot, but afraid to admit it. Where are we going? It's too late. Why not go into Uncle's heart? How? Didn't Jiang Lin satisfy you? Let's go. Uncle's a real flirt. I told you not to call me Uncle. Bai Pu, explain it clearly. What kind of result do you really want? Did I hear you right? Mr. Lin, you want a result for me? You're kidding. In two months, I will marry your nephew. He's not angry, is he? It shouldn't be. He should be angry if I really want him. So, Bai Pu, you're hard. I'm only the guy to please you. It doesn't seem right. I don't believe it. What a coincidence. It coincided with a business trip. Hello. I heard Mr. Liu and Assistant Bai had an emergency business trip last night. What? Mr. Liu and Assistant Bai didn't go for business trip. What? They're not on a business trip. I didn't hear Mr. Liu is on business trip. Something wrong? Uncle. I heard from the front desk. You're not on a business trip with Pu Tao. Are you hiding something from me? The project of Bin Cheng required Bai Pu to go alone. I don't have to go, and I don't have the time to tell the whole company that your fiancé is away on business. But... Jiang Lin, I'm gonna warn you. Cheng Chuan is not a place to solve your personal business. Do you understand? Yes. I didn't think this true. Uncle, sorry. You've got a lot to hide. Look what Mr. Lu said. It's so early in the morning and I'm helping you with your business. As your worker. May I not serve you at any time? What do you mean? Do you know Yun Sang, CEO? He's company with me too. The piece of raw material from Besa. He said he wanted to meet you. He used to work for Cheng Chuan. Put it this way, he'll left and establish Johnson. Right. Then, this piece of raw material, are you sure you can still get it? Here it is. Get dressed. Tell Luo Cheng this afternoon, meet me in Besa. This batch of raw materials is extremely precious. Although Yunshan can't compare with Cheng Chuan, the development speed is also the fastest in history. Mr. Liu, don't blame me for not remembering former friendship. I will definitely win this time. As the president of Cheng Chuan, I need to bring the best to my consumers, who will gain supremacy. Wait and see. Assistant Bai, take the batch of materials from Bin Cheng to Mr. Luo for a look when you have time. A small company like Yun Cheng is the most suitable. Sure. Mr. Lu likes to joke a lot. This is to make Yun Cheng actively withdraw from competing for B several materials. Anyway, it's all a loss. Why don't you ask for the materials from Bin Cheng? It's better than nothing. Let's go. Why are you 
doing too here? I am Mr. Liu's assistant. Travel and social us together. Isn't it normal? Is that you? How did you appear here with my fiancé? Are you here? Also in a business trip? You! Ah, babe. I can explain. It's not what you see. No need to explain. I have social interaction with Mr. Liu. Let's go, Mr. Liu. Is Baipu and your uncle too close? I think there must be something tricky inside. If it weren't for you coming to Beisa, will we be discovered? Huh? No. This thing. I must clarify with Puta personally. <laughs> this time coming to Beisa, I prepared your rooms. Here's your room card. It's right across from me. Mr. Luke, if there is anything urgent, call me anytime. You come tonight. Jewelry. So loud. You're not afraid of being heard by others? Things like cheating, doing too much will be retribution. What did you do earlier? Putao. <laughs> Mm. Uh, uh. Are you looking for assistant Pai? She was called into the room by Mr. Liu to deal with business affairs. Where is Mr. Liu's room? Uh, uh, there. Uncle. Is Putao here? What happened to the love bite on your neck? Putao. Who let you in? Uncle. I hear you called Putao to your room. I'll ask if she's in or not. Looking for your girlfriend to go home and find her? What are you doing here? Uncle, I heard they said you asked her to come over. I just asked if she's in. I'm her boss, not her bodyguard. Call her to my room at night. Destroy my reputation. Uncle, I... I didn't mean that. You better be. Uncle... Do you know where Puta has gone? Why won't you call her? Ah. I forgot in a hurry. Uncle, I should probably just go. Unexpectedly, Mr. Lu is quite skilled in acting. At this time, call me Mr. Lu. You intentionally. Mr. Lu also feels that... This is very exciting, isn't it? You love excitement so much. If one day Jiang Lin finds out, what are you planning to do? I'm a subordinate of Mr. Lu. Do whatever you say. Hello? Bai Pu, I came to the hotel specifically to see you. Where are you? I'm outside. What are you talking about? Someone clearly saw and said you entered my uncle's room. Zhang Lin, you come all the way to Beisa coming to the hotel. Are you here to follow me? I... I came to Beisa on a business trip. I didn't ask you why you were with Bai Liu. You first suspect me? I didn't suspect you. Babe, we're getting married soon. How could I possibly suspect you? You know that's good. Why? Just now, you said I was good at acting. I think you're even better than me. Compared to Mr. Liu, 
This is just a small trick. Mr. Lu, let me introduce to you Song Crew President Song Li. Long heard of the famous Mr. Lu. This beautiful lady. Sit down. Mr. Lu, the first meeting. I have a surprise for you. Come in. Let me introduce you. This is Shayan, our company's new raw material auditor. She just returned from abroad. When I heard that she and Mr. Liu was familiar face, we have dinner today. Tell her to come out with everyone. Come on, Shayan. Long time no see, Chao He. I have been in Cheng Chuan for so long. I haven't heard of Mr. Liu having an old lover. Assistant Bai, do you know? I'm just Mr. Liu's assistant. I have no qualification to ask my boss about emotional question. No. Oh. Xia Yan is just my high school classmate. Mr. Liu doesn't need to explain your personal feelings to others. <laughs> I have a meeting this afternoon. Let's eat. Why did Mr. Liu react this way when he saw his ex-girlfriend? You finally come back. My mom and I have something to tell you. Your mom has been dead for almost a year. I think it's time to move out all the things your mom's left. The person things were placed inside here. Really unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> Do you dare? To touch my mouth things. Don't blame me for being rude to you. You little brat rebelled. <laughs> Mom! You. Move. You. I need to move out as soon as possible to protect when my mom left me. But. Moving out like this, that's great for Bai Liu. If Jiang Lin and I propose cohabitation and trial marriage, then there's a reason to move out and also discuss them at the same time. Mom, I know you want me to be happy. So I've been trying to accept Jiang Lin. But since he was with Bai Liu, I can marry him according to your wishes. But don't worry. I promise you, I will definitely fulfill your last wish, getting married to him successfully. Cohabitation trial marriage. Jiangling, you really agree to her? This is just a temporary measure, babe. Wait a little longer. What the hell are you waiting for? As for money or family, she's no match for me. Has an illegitimate daughter? This matter is not as simple as you think. Trust me. Wait a little longer, okay? When I received the inheritance left by her mom, I don't have to rely on the Lu family anymore. We have known each other for 20 years. You can speak up straight. What's the matter with this visit? I don't have time to reminisce with you. You too. Your coffee. You are our Chao He's assistant. Bai Bu, right? Your name sounds great. Uh, our Chao He? Why are you calling so intimate? By the way, my name is nice as it sounds. Bye, Pooh, bye, Pooh. How nice. Need you to praise me? Uh, 
I'm very flattered, Monsieur. Monsieur, Mr. Lu never adds sugar to his coffee. Don't you know? Uh, really? The relationship seems to be very good between the two of you. Mr. Lu is my fiancé's uncle. I'm also his assistant, so I know him better than others. Monsieur, don't misunderstand. <laughs> Mr. Lu, there's nothing else. I will go out first. Let's have coffee. Assistant Bai, come in for a moment. Assistant Bai, go and inquire about gossip. Mr. Lu, you're looking for me? What do you think is the relationship between me and Cheyenne? Didn't Mr. Song say that? She's your ex-girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend? Did you hear me say that she was my high school classmate? Mr. Lu, is this explaining to me? Probably not. I don't have the qualification of care, right? Get out. Didn't you ask me for coming? Get out. Why could I think of Lu Chao He? Baby, wake up! Guess who I saw when I went out today? Who? Xu Xiaoran. I saw her go to a hotel with a man today. That man is not her boyfriend. Although I trust you very much, don't play with such impure girls anymore. Okay? Impure? You are the impure person. Let's talk about it tomorrow. I will go to bed. Mr. Lu, this is the list of raw materials and detailed information sent by Mr. Song. Let's take a look. Mr. Song said next, Miss Jia will be sent to connect with the project in Beisa. I heard you and Zhang Lin are cohabitating. Do you mind? Although I don't have misophobia, it's not like not picking anything. Not everyone I can accept. Zhang Lin and I are getting married soon. Live together earlier, to get used to it. So you had sex with him last night? I don't care about Mr. Lu's emotional life. I hope Mr. Lu doesn't care about the employees either. <laughs> I'll ask again. Did you have sex with him? Assistant Bai, don't be sad and have something. Well, thank you. I'm not hungry. Assistant Pai. Admittedly, Mr. Lu is excellent. But he has been into the lovely Xianyan. You shouldn't die for men, right? There are other fish in the sea. Why get obsessed with this fish alone? Well, you just took me wrong, Lin Lin. Here is the inspection results of Pesa materials. Please send it to CEO office. Try to cry again. <gasps> What am I doing? I'll let you know what I want to do today. <gasps> Mr. Lu, you catch up with your old flame just now at the office. You are treating me in this manner? I hope you're not jealous. How could I be? We're strangers. We're strangers. Oh, 
Misha. Bye, Boo. Mr. Song asked me to send the expansion result of Beisa to you. Well, give it to me. To make sure nothing goes wrong, the material should be checked. And you should finish the inspection ahead of Yung Song. Then, the oats will be better. I will work overtime to check the materials tonight. Well done. Where is Chao He? Mr. Liu has been off duty. I'm just the assistant of Mr. Liu. I have no right to look into his privacy. Well, I'm just gonna go if you're busy. Bai Pu. How did you come here? I'm taking you to the hospital right now. Acute appendicitis. Just pay attention to rest. Okay. Do you feel better now? Why is Lu Chao He so gentle tonight? You didn't have a fever, fortunately. Have you had dinner yet? I'll buy you something to eat. Call me, if you ever need anything. I've already set the bell for you. I miss you so much. Mom, today there is someone who will take care of me. Like you did. Unfortunately, he and I are not the same type of person. But I seem to care about him now. She cried. What's wrong? Nothing. Eat something. Eating these will help you recover faster. Uh, last night, Michelle went to the office to look for you, but she couldn't find you, so she gave the review materials to me. What did you say to her? What do you expect me to say? Assistant Bai always performs her duty respectfully and with care. She would not fish transgressively. I'll go now. You two take your time to chat. Take care of her, Jiang Lin. Okay. Baby. How are you feeling now? Any better? I'm fine. He was right. Why do I feel stuck in my heart? Lu Xiaoxie, you are hopeless. You can't even drink a glass of red wine without missing her. It's obviously the same bottle of wine, but the one I drank with you at that night was sweeter. Lu Xiaohe, I would like to drink the Changji you bought again. Congratulations to Cheng Chuan for sailing a march on completing the review. I knew it last night. Anything else? Chao He, can we still love each other? As we used to do in high school? We can't live in the past. That's the truth. You should understand. Besides, I hope next time you come to see me and Chen Chua for official matters only. <sighs> okay. I'll leave you alone then. 
Bye, Boom. Miss Shia, I went to Chenhuan and heard that you were in hospital. You won't mind me coming to see you so boldly, would you? Of course not. Sit down, please. Chao's perverence all this year remained the same. He still likes drinking the chongji at the restaurant. Misha, please get to the point. I can feel that Chao He treats you differently. However, as his senpai, you have been engaged Mary with your fiancé. Surely you know what you were doing. I have known Chao He for nearly 20 years. Since high school, we've been together. We had some good memories. It's my fault. I insisted on going aboard at the time. I know Chao He is an outstanding man. There are a lot of bitchy women pursuing him. But a person in his place is supposed to do what he in his place should do. Assistant Bay District is not difficult to understand for you, right? Misha, for me, no matter how excellent a man is, as long as he cheats on his lover, he has no difference in other men. Instead of wasting your time on me, why don't you think about how to catch a man's heart? Pu Tao, I got you some dessert. Uh, roll away, please. <laughs> Baby, in a few days, my family and I will go to offer sacrifices to ancestors. My grandpa said we had less than two months to be married, so that you can go to offer sacrifices to ancestors with us. By the way, I will take you to officially meet my relatives. Offering sacrifices to ancestors? Is she really going to marry Jiang Lin? What kind of woman are you? Baby, what are you thinking about? It's strange that I should have seen love, Zhou Ah, uh, nothing. There's one more thing, baby. You have moved to my home, so those things your aunt left before... It's none of your business. Sorry, baby. I didn't want to interfere in your life. We'll be a couple right away. Don't be shy. I'm tired now. You better go home. All right. Take care of yourself. Mr. Lu? Hello, baby. I forgot to go to the nurse station for your medicine. It doesn't matter. I will ask the nurse to take the medicine later. The day of offering sacrifices to ancestors has been set in next week. I am worried about your health. Hello? What's the sound over there? Are you bound to go home with him, aren't you? Bai Pu, since you're so determined to marry Jiang Lin, why are you messing with me? Give me an answer now. Uh, I... Bai Pu, you are so interesting. At first, you texted me and flirted with me on the internet. But now, you betray me and marry with another man. What sort of person do you think I am? Yes, that's me. The reason why I built a relationship with you was that I wanted to revenge on Jiang Lin. Now, I'm even with him, so marrying with him is not a problem. Mr. Lu, we're meant to be each other playing things. What's more, you have got Xiaoyan. Don't you say thanks to me for not pestering you? I have said early before that, our relationship is just a game of adults both of us want to play. It's unbelievable that Mr. Luke can afford to play. A game by Pooh. You're so good. Did he get hurt by what I say? If not, why did he look so upset? But Lu Xiaohe, obviously you don't like me, or you would not fall in love with me, would you? You and Xiaolin were childhood sweethearts.
Mom called the shot for you. I have made an engagement for you. It's scheduled for next year. A person in his place is supposed to do what he in his place would do. As is in Bay District, it's not difficult to understand for you, right? Luchawa, I wanted to make a confidence of you. To leave from the last relationship. I have been trapped into the relationship with you. I admit that I'm attracted to you, but I'm still marrying Jiang Lin. It's the only way to put my mom to rest. So, Mr. Lin, you better stop the loss in time. Fine. Piper, see, he doesn't like you. He can't wait to break up with you so that he can get together with Jiang Lin. I will marry with Jiang Lin soon. Then I will be a member of the Lu family. Uncle, please, take good care of me. Didn't you reunite with Xiaoyan? I am not particular ethical. But I don't want to be a third party between you and Xiaoyan. So... We are done. And we will go our separate ways. We are done? I'm telling you, our relationship can't be ended even though you said we were over. You have no qualification to do this. Hey, what's up, man? What happened? Hey, give me another glass of wine, please. This is not like you. Lu Zhohe, does Xiaoyan's return remind you of those painful memories of when you were dumped by her? I'm painful, but it's not because of Xiaoyan. I don't care whatever she does. Huh, really? So strange. We will go to offer sacrifices to ancestors that you need to come back home. I won't go. You dare not to come back. Now, come on, let's drink. Do you really want to break up with Lu Chao He? What's up? I feel that you are very sad. No, I am not. You are telling a lie. I know you very well. Actually, I think Lu Chaohe is quite good to you. Bai Pu, you flirted with me and you cried in front of me. What do these mean? Should I go to offer sacrifices to ancestors or play along with Bai Pu? at the family dinner. Baby, you're finally ready to be discharged. My grandpa asked me about your health just now. My grandpa can set his mind at ease after seeing you. Hurry up, otherwise we'll be late. That asshole hasn't come back. Grandpa, well, uncle said he was too busy to return home. He didn't come back for such an important event. It's really gone rogue. Who said I won't come back? Finally, you get the fuck back here. Hello, Uncle. Let's have a meal. <laughs> Xiao Liu. Clean this place later, please. Okay. Can't you find there's something wrong with your girlfriend's leg? How did you find out I was injured? Oops. Baby, your leg hurts. Xiao Liu. Yes? Go upstairs and get the medical kit. 
Wrap Miss Bai's wound in a bandage. Uh, I'm fine. Since when does Uncle care so much about Pu Tao? Miss Bai has been my assistant for three years. As her superior, showing consideration for a subordinate is normal, isn't it? He cares about me just because he's my superior. It's time to wait. Grandpa, what happened? Xiao Pu, what do you think of Xiao He? Grandpa said he would discuss the engagement with me, but he was asking about Lu Chao He. Mr. Lu is a considerate superior. He is very nice to all subordinates. I am not sure whether he is considerate or not. But you are not honest, as the old saying goes. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You know what I mean, right? Does he know the relationship between Lu Chao He and me? Hello. Where are you? Come and get the medicine. Bai Pu, since you have made the decision to end it, you can't entwine Lu Chao He anymore. I'm fine. So, only Lu Chao He not ties you got injured. Pu Tao, have you fallen in love with him? We were done. But ending relationship doesn't mean you don't like him. I have been fooled and suffered losses. I can't be trapped in love anymore. Anyway, from now on, I will get rid of all the distraction and study hard. But I heard from you that Luchavo is a nice man. Absolutely not. He's not good at all. Hello, is this Mr. Lu speaking? I'm Putao's bestie. She's already drunk. Could you please come and then pick her up? Uh, Mom, I'm sorry. I will marry with Jiang Lin to fulfill your last Wait. wish. What did you say just now? She doesn't yeah. like Jiang Lin. But by Pu, what do you think of our relationship? But just I don't for fun? To if so, why did you cry that night? Is it because you love me? You don't like Jiang Lin. Do you like Lu Zhao He? No. Why? Because he likes another girl's. And he doesn't like me. What? How do you know he likes another one? He does have a crush on the other. You said you didn't like me, but why did you hide from me? Leave me alone. Lu Chao He, I hate you. Why do you hate me? What about this? Bring your leader to serious trouble. Get up. Don't pretend to be asleep. Have some breakfast. Did you forget what happened last night? Your friend asked me to pick you up. We are done, Mr. Lu. You don't need to be so nice to a subordinate. Why didn't you say no last night? It was because of... 
your poor self-control. You couldn't stand the temptation. So you were seduced by a drunk woman, right? Yes. You are really good at hitting on men. Whether I'm good at it or not is none of your business. Last night was the last day. From then on, we're just in a common superior subordinate relationship. After all, I'm marrying your nephew. Since you don't like Jiang Lin, why do you agree to marry him? Mr. Liu, I don't know what I said to you last night. This is the matter between Xiaomi and him. You're an outsider, so you have no right to interfere. Understand, uncle? Which one is true, and which one is not? Good morning, Mr. Lu. Assistant Bei, you and Mr. Lu were not at work yesterday. Were you on a date? You kidding me? If Mr. Lu had an appointment with someone, there would be Monsieur, definitely not me. You are right. When can I attend the wedding of Mr. Lu and Monsieur? Bye, Pooh. You are done. Let's go to work. Oh, fine. The project in BESA advanced at timely. All relevant materials need to be kept in secret. And next week, there's a bidding conference. How's the program going? Before, I've almost finished. But due to hospitalization, there was a delay. Today, I'll work late to finish it. <coughs> you got a cold. Thanks for your concern, Mr. Liu. But your concern, it's better to leave it to someone else. Like Miss Xia. Stop. I don't care if you got a cold or not. I'm just afraid of assistant Bai. Because of drinking, impacts work progress. Don't worry, Mr. Liu. I won't delay my work. If there's nothing else, I'll go out. Isn't that the answer you wanted to hear? Bai Pu. But why do I care so much? Almost home. I just remembered. I need to take the bid back and finish it. I don't know if there's anyone in the company now. Who is there? Isn't the company cooler? What am I doing here? Where's my phone? Anyone there? Anyone there? Is there anyone up there? Help me! Someone is there! Answer the phone. Hurry up! I'm not gonna die here today, am I? I don't wanna die yet. I haven't finished my bid yet. I haven't fulfilled my mom's last wish yet. But you've been on your own for years. How can you depend on men now? You mustn't forget that men are the greatest liars. Men are no good. Help me! Bai Pu! Are you okay? Cold. Very cold. It's okay now. It's okay. Lu Chao. Then you came to my rescue again. I can't trust you anymore. But if it was you, would we have a possibility? Lu Chao. Bai Pu. Bai Pu, wouldn't you rather see someone else guarding you here? 
Ay po, lucha ho has Jayon. He's just acting out of concern as a boss. Just save you. What you didn't say last night. I think it is a sign from heaven. I don't know what you're talking about. Jayon wants to see uncle. He's gone. Mr. Lu is my boss. I had an accident in the company. He saved me and brought me to the hospital. You're not even grateful and, and also unhappy. You're right. Pu Tao. I just heard you call another man's name. So I'm not happy. I couldn't help it. Don't blame me. I won't. Why are you here? You're pregnant. Yes, I'm pregnant. When exactly do you break up with Baipu? I can't wait, but the baby can't wait. Shaolin, I don't have enough time. You save me. I keep it in my mind. You are a good boy. I hope you can take care of Puta. I believe you. I love you a property. After you married Puta, the house will automatically be transferred into your name. Aunt, don't worry. For the property, posing as the lifesaver of Bai Pu's mother, I've been with Bai Pu for so long. I can't stop here. Assistant Bai. Mr. Liu. Sit down. Thanks, Mr. Liu, for saving me the night before last. I'm not that unkind. Let you come to work the next day. I heard the program was stolen. It's almost time to bid again, so I tried to get back from the new program. I look into that matter. The most important thing for you now is getting well. But I'm the only one who saw that guy. I can't ignore it. Which man... Leaves this matter alone. Do you want to go through the Baipu adventure again? Well, that night... How could you... That night, if I hadn't called you... Do you know what's gonna happen? Why does he look so angry? It's strange. Why am I so angry? Chow He, you're also there, Sister Bai. I heard you were hospitalized the other day. Are you feeling better? Much better. Thanks. Well, I also heard that the bidding program was stolen. Mr. Wang said to have a dinner and discuss it. Join us, Assistant Bay. I will pass on that. It's official business. Let's go. I heard about the other night. Assistant Pai, you are so brave. Here's a toast. Sorry. She's recently out of the hospital. I'll drink for her. She drinks water instead of wine. Drink more water. Please, Mr. Wang, sit down. What a surprise. I didn't know Chow He would hold back drinks for his subordinate. What's your relationship with Assistant Pai? She really isn't curious about my answer. Because of the company, she had an accident. As a supervisor, being considerate to a subordinate is really normal. What are you expecting, Bai Bu? <laughs> You're right. Lil Putao followed Mr. Liu for many years. What's more, Lil Putao will soon become his nephew's wife. For this, you should take care of Lil Putao. Hey, Lil Putao, when is your wedding? Don't forget to call me. Soon. Chao He? You really changed a lot. I remember when we were in high school together. You were not a reuse for being insensitive. You have known each other since high school? Oh, oh yeah. At that time, he was only kind to you. To others, he was indifferent. Alright, I'll tell you at the time in high school with him longer. Stop. Uh, everyone... Enjoy yourself. I have things to do. I will go first. Where are you going? 
My fiancé came to pick me up. Ah, okay. When she said the words, fiancé, why am I so uncomfortable? If Lu Chao Ha really cares, would not say it in that way. He and Xiaoyang, since high school, they've been together. How can you possibly compete with her? Men are all the same. Didn't Zhang Lin take you home? Why are you still here? Get in. I'll take you home. Didn't you take Xiaoyan home? Already home? So quick. What? Couldn't I take you? Uh, I didn't say no. You're so conscientious to get in the car, like you, in my bed. Come to home tonight. Mr. Lu. I will back to your nephew's home. In his bed. How dare you! I dare you! Bai Pu, since you don't like me, when they talked about the relationship between Xiaoyan and me, why did you act so strange? Lu Chao He, since you don't care either, I was just playing. Why won't you end this game? Would you like me to? Okay. How could that be? Sorry, Mr. Lu. Sorry, Assistant Bay. I don't mean it. What's wrong with you? Deduct one month's salary. Go to the administrative office and get a fine. Okay. <laughs> it's all because you that night came back to the office and messed up my plan. You will see. I hope it didn't burn you. That's okay. It won't come off. I better wash it and bring it to you. Take the suit back later. What will Zhang Lin think of you? All right. Come here and help me with the buttons. Mr. Lu, you're right. We better keep distance between us. What distance do we need to keep? Chao He, the bidding is the day after tomorrow. I'm going to get the details proof. Come to the office. Bai Pu, you can care about him. Lu Chao He, whether likes Chiang or not, what's it got to do with you? I think Luo Chuan did it on purpose. I came to the office. She left to the tea room. She wouldn't counter me. She may be the leaker. Nice guess. But I need to wait until the end of the bidding to deal with that. Why don't you just fire her? Because she and Luo Cheng are siblings. So you don't want to spook us? You're smart. Mr. Lu, I will appreciate it if you watch your step from now on. Misha will be here soon. It's not good for her to say it. What's more, after one month, you're gonna marry my nephew, right? Yes. I will have to ask Mr. Lu for help to build me a hotel. Okay. I'm going out. Hello, Miss Jia. Bye, Bu. Why would he do it for you? A woman about to get married. Giving up, Shayan. Show her. I heard about the lake. But Changchun Group is still great, led by Mr. Lu, making a new bid so soon. It's thanks to Mr. Lu. I didn't mean anything. That's what I mean. Thanks to groups like Yun Shang can stimulate the latent abilities of our employees, making new bids so quickly. We've always done business with conscience. Unlike some, they do whatever it takes to get what one wants. Do you agree, Luo Cheng? Mr. Lu. Business is like a battlefield. To succeed, 
there's always something to give up. As the saying goes, you can't have your cake and eat it too. What is more important, I'm sure Mr. Lu has his own ideas. Thank you for waiting. The company that won the bid for the space project is Chang Chuan Group. Congratulations. Impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. I said, and I've said it before, you have to be conscientious in business. If you try any more tricks, don't blame me for being rude. Let's go. This bidding meeting. Your new program has done wonders. You did a great job. Of course. I've been working for you for three years. When have I ever let you down? Exactly. Whether it's work or... Why don't you go back to the hotel and rest? Aren't you going back? Want to come back with me? Of course not. You've been working hard on the program for a few days. You're not fully recovered. You need to go back to the hotel and rest. This is Lu Chao's car. He just got back now. That's why he didn't come back with me. It's for a day with Xiaoyan. Celebrating until now? Lu Chao, you said I play you as a fool. But you are not like that now. Play me like a fool. It's late. Please go back and rest. Did you know? I've come back this time. It's all about starting over with you. Do you know? It's my fault. Left you and got married abroad. But I thought you'll be as good to me as you were before. It's all over. We're not right. Then what are right for you? Baipu? What's it got to do with her? You're lying. I can tell you you like her. She's your new fiancé. You're going to steal your nephew's girl? There's no way you are going to be together. How could I possibly like Baipu? I just think that woman... Our business about me and Bai Pu, it's not your place. I'm warning you once more, Xiaoyan. If it happens again, I'll give you a ticket out of this country. I don't know if he will be back today, but yeah. What if he suddenly wants to talk to me? See, I'll stay here for a few more days to share in feelings. Let's go, Assistant Bai. Where's Miss Xia? I took her home last night. But I saw it last night. I saw you two hugging. You saw what? Uh, nothing. Why are you suddenly asking about Xiaoyan? She is Mr. Lu, ex-girlfriend and partner. Can I just care? You're right. I'll take her out to dinner later. On your behalf. Okay. Later, I will be back to Jiang Li's apartment. Then please, Mr. Lu. Thing me see for me. Baby, don't worry. I'll be good to you. This is the most critical time for both of us. Don't drop the chain. You just rest easy. Give birth to our baby. Pu Tao, why are you back? My business trip is over. Shouldn't I come back? Ah, yes. I just... You were just playing a game on the balcony. It's not hot. Yeah, I am. The internet was so bad, so I went to the balcony. I forgot about the time. I'm burning. I'll help you unpack.
Bye, Pu. My mom said that your mom ruins other marriage. My mom said who breaks up other families is a bad woman. So Baipu is an illegitimate child. My mom said not to play with her. She is a bastard. Bastard, don't play with her. Bastard, bastard, <laughs> don't she's play a with bastard. Her. She's a bastard. Mom, if it's in accordance with your wishes, the baby of Chanlin and Pai Liu will be born as a bastard like me. But I don't want to. I don't want a baby to be criticized as much as I've been. Bai Pu, why have you been so drunk? Hug me. Huh. Wanna run? I need to go back to work. You think you can come here and go wherever you want? Keep sleeping. Don't! Ah, don't! <sighs> Had a nightmare? Lu Chao Ha, do you think the illegitimate child should not be born into this world? No one like me, even myself. That's why she has nightmares. Sorry. Go sleep. I'm here. Isn't Jiang Lin living with you? You came out at midnight. Will you be allowed? He doesn't care. Are you blaming him for not caring? He's not qualified. I was just in a bad mood last night. Like the first time we had sex. To take what we need. Don't think too much. Assistant Bai. You're pretty good at it. Put out. Jiang Lin organized a meal for both families this week. Let's meet together to discuss the wedding. Okay, got it. I've told you, I'm totally bad woman. You just heard. I'm gonna marry your nephew. If Mr. Lu cares so much, you can go find a good woman like Misha. No need to be with me. Being understanding, you've got a knack for it. Is this what you want? The project for this competition was successfully tendered thanks to assistant Bai. She deserves encouragement. Bai Bu, you're ruining Yoon Sung again. Let's see how kick your ass. But I'm not advocating risking your life to work for the company. Next week, I'm going to set up a dedicated team for the BESA project that will be frequently be on business to move the project forward. That's all. Mr. Lu, the BESA project. I think next week it's better to go there in person. Those documents, have you submitted them yet? I don't even keep it at the office anymore. I've carried what I can carry. It's also a backup on my personal computer. What are you laughing at? I'm happy to have a great employee like you, can't I? Such inexplicably. But by Pooh, it's dangerous here. You must protect yourself at all times. Does my safety have anything to do with Mr. Lu? You are my assistant. You don't think it matters? Who is assistant? Then what do you want me to call you? Nothing. By the way, I have to leave work an hour early today. Lu family and Pai family are discussing the wedding. I need to go back early. Okay. I'll drive you there later. Pai Pu, it seems like you just want to have fun with me. Lu Chao, are you that cruel? 
I will pay you injustice for your heartless... Hello? Is this Mr. Luo? I'm Shayan. I think I can provide what you want. Or what you do, or what you need most. Alright. Then we will meet tomorrow for more details. Why did you not know? Mr. Lu cares so much about his juniors. He took time out of my busy schedule to attend Bai Bu and Xiang Li's engagement party. It's rare that Xiao He is free. We'll be relatives from now on. Keeping in touch will be better. That's right. Our Bai Bu. If she could marry Xiang Lin, it would be the blessing of her life. A shady illegitimate daughter can marry into the Lu family. Even in my dreams, she'll wake up smiling. This wedding was decided by Bai Bu's mother before her death. Probably have been eyeing Chang Lin and Lin Xiang Lin. Thinking how to find a rich husband family already so that she can be a phoenix from Sparrow. Shut up! Jiang Lin has been unruly since he was a kid. He could be with Bai Bu for so long. I'm curious too. My uncle, maybe I don't talk well, but in Bai family today, compared to you guys, it's not as good. This is our family business. It has nothing to do with Mr. Lu, right? Stop it. We're here today to discuss the wedding, not anything else. After the marriage, who married into our Bai family? Show her is also your uncle. Show her. I'm planning in a few days to let Lin take Pu to see the wedding dress to get your wedding photos done early. Doesn't your friend own a bridal shop? Help me hurry him up. Okay. Bai Pu, your mom left something here. Come upstairs with me and I will take it to you. Where's the stuff? <gasps> what could your mom have left here? If she has, that should be you, you son of a bitch. <gasps> because you're pregnant. I have put up with you. I didn't realize you were still arrogant. How did you know? If you don't want anybody to know it. Don't do it in the first place. Now that you know I'm pregnant. Why didn't you hurry up? Get the hell off my jelly! Bye, Pooh. Who are you really worried about? Uncle, of course I'm worried about my fiance pipe. I... Why did I see you just now save your fiance? I also didn't expect it that my uncle would subconsciously save my fiance. What of the ladies lost her baby? She's pregnant? What the hell are you talking about? The baby's gone? <laughs> Calm down. I strangle you. You are my uncle. 
Why do you always belittle me and defend an outsider like her, Lu Zhaohe? Tell me, why did you so care about a Bai family outsider like her? Because I. Because I. Stop, all of you! Look what you've done. He is your nephew. How could you do this? You might as well look at what he has done. No, Grandpa. Ah. Dad, Mom, I'll never see you. Paipu, you almost killed my daughter. I want you to die. This is in hospital. Please mind your words. Oh. Out of my expectation, we're here too, Mr. Lu. Paipu, make apology to your sister. My sister is carrying a baby. Isn't it irresistible for her to find an unreliable man? What do I owe her? I didn't make her pregnant. If I did want her that, is it necessary to push myself down the stairs? In my point, apparently there's someone go for a woo and come home short. Shangling, you are my fiancé. But you want to choke me because my sister has an abortion. Do you feel sorry for our long-term affection or my sister baby is yours indeed? So that you want to choke me to death in revenge for her? No, it's not that. You're speaking nonsense. Grandpa, that's not right. I was too impetuous just now. Wu Tao, I was too impetuous just now. I'm sorry. Could you forgive me for this time? Could you? I promise this is the last time. I assure you and I swear to you. I will reconsider our relationship. I will let Xiaovan to bring Malu Gage out of your apartment. Let's break up. I think my mother will not let me marry a man who has almost killed me. Oh, I'm truly sorry. Please don't do that. What else do you want me to do? Gladly forgive you? Bai Pu, when I manage to get your mother's legacy, I will repay you today's humiliation hundreds and thousand times. Bu Tao, frankly speaking, auntie entrusted me with a thing when she was alive. She left an important present and said that after our marriage, it will be given to you as a marriage present. She left it with me for now. When the marriage is done, I'll give it to you. If you are determined to break the engagement, you'll never see it in your lifetime. I'm not threatening you. I love you dearly. I really want to marry you. Don't keep me guessing. Just tell me what it is. Only if you never speak of breaking up and breaking the engagement with me. When we are married, you'll see it naturally. Does Jianglin have that present? Why did my mother leave me? Undoubtedly, I have to find out. Sure. We have an agreement. I will not speak of breaking the engagement. Baby, I know you love me. Grandpa. You give us some time. I have something to speak with Baipu alone. Okay. What will Grandpa talk with her? I come here today first to apologize to you for Jung Lin. This son of mine has been so ridiculous since he was young that he could do such a thing. I'm here today not to seek your forgiveness. And you know that a man cannot get everything. Don't be greedy. You and Xiaohe are from two different worlds. And you are his assistant. I think you are clear of the right and the wrong. Grandpa, actually... I don't want to hear anything about you and Zhang. Zhangjing City is small. If Miss Bai thinks the opposite, you will have to excuse my horrible means. I will make Bai family disappear in Zhangjing City forever. Leave my father alone. Why are you here? Are you truly going to marry Zhang Lin? No way. I have to find what mother left me. I cannot tell him. Yes. 
Are you so in love with him? Then why Mr. Lu asks me such a question? Lu Chao He, do you mind whether I marry Jin Naglin or not? Bai Pu, you ever had a soft spot for me? If you do, why are you gonna marry Jiang Lin? You like? I... What did he say? They are surely asking for compensation. The more the better. In this way, then, Cheng Chuan will pay for their medical costs and give them part of the rehab fees if they continue asking for more. Then let them be. Chao He, are you really going to do this? It's settled. Mr. Liu, doing business is to seek success in whatever means. Maybe one day you will agree with me. Could it be Luo Cheng doing the tricks? It's too late. She might be asleep. Silly me. How could she be waiting for my call? It is late now. He should be sleeping. He is on the call with Cheyenne. And how could he think about whether I will call him or not? It's me. Are you still awake? You called me at midnight just for this? No. I saw you got a call during the daytime and left in hurry. So I called to ask about it. Something is wrong with the Besa project. Something happened to Besa. There was some trouble, but I can handle it. But didn't you answer Miss Jia's call? I thought you two went to date. You called me at midnight only to ask me whether I dated with Xia Yan or not? With whom Mr. Lu dated has nothing to do with me for sure. I'm only caring for my boss. In this case, should I be thankful for assisted by his care? This is my daddy as an assistant. It's my who kill our baby. Charlie, I can't believe you're going to marry her. You are ruthless. Baby. You just had the abortion. It's harmful to be angry, Xiao Liu. Calm down. When Bai Pu's mother was alive, she left me a house property on the condition that I must marry Bai Pu. After the nuptials, it would be automatically transferred under my name. What? What's more, it was my uncle who saved Bai Pu's mother then. He rushed back to the company and let me go to the hospital to help. Auntie woke up and saw me. I thought that it was me who saved her. That's the reason why the engagement of me and Bai Pu was settled. So, you must believe me. I must get that estate. Or else, everything is in vain. Not only will our cover be blown, but also Grandpa will give none of us the shares of Lu's company. So, please wait for me. Okay. I will believe you once more. I will help you to obtain the house property. Did mother really leave a prison? But why? I couldn't find any information. Did Jiang Li lie to me? Senbei, you're back finally. Lily. Mishia was also in Changchuan. Xiaoyan? Yes. Mm, why? I don't know. Who is that guy? 
He's new today. If Miss Pai can't agree with me, then don't blame me for being cruel and ruthless. Is he sent by Grandpa Lu to keep an eye on me? Uh, Mr. Lu said that if you're back to company, you need to go to his office. He got some new plans for you. Okay, I will be there in a minute. Any new plans? There is a meeting about BESA this afternoon. You notice the department directors to attend. And you can't be involved in anything about BESA and Yunsheng. Why? Do as I say. But Miss Ya came to change on already. It shows that the project of BESA has some serious problems. Why can't I take part in this project? She is here for some time from Song Li's company. It's less than a month. Why do you care about her so much? Uh, I'm just afraid of getting fired. That could happen if you don't work hard. Yes, sir. I'm going to work right now. Wait. You moved out of Jiang Lin's apartment. Where do you live now? Why did he ask me this? I, I have an apartment myself. I moved there after leaving the hospital. Recently. Take care of yourself any time. Okay. If Luo Cheng really did something to Besa, he won't let it go. By Pooh. Show her. Would you come to my apartment now? What happened? Someone wrote bad words on the mirror. And my photos were cut into pieces. I'm coming right now. By Pooh. <gasps> no show her. I'm so scared. Don't worry. I'm here. Don't leave. I won't. You can have a good sleep. Luo Chang, if you put a threat to Bai Pu, I will never let you off. Why do you always need the brows? Many times I can't stop thinking if only Jiang Lin didn't save my mother that year. If only I wasn't engaged to Jiang Lin that claim but my mother. If... If only you liked me too. Grandpa Lu warned me before. I have to compromise. If I like to stay in Jiangchen City, I can't have a chance to be with you. What happened? Assistant Bay, someone uploaded the threat secret of our company's BASA project online last night. It is said that every company in the industry has a copy of it by one night. Threat secret? Someone must have leaked the secret and says you are a company spy. You were the one who leaked the secret on purpose. How could it be me? How could it not be you? The documents for the BASA project are classified. Who doesn't know? Only Mr. Lu and you of the group have documents. Since it can be Mr. Lu, that must be you. <sighs> if Baipu hadn't been calling to the office last time, I wouldn't have had a chance to copy her drawing key. I think you should let the police arrest you. I think there was a thief yelling stop thief. 
It is a crime to default to a secret. It's not up to you to say anything. You cannot slander me. You want to prove, didn't you? Here, look for yourself. How dare you say this background is not your desktop? Your closet and drawers are locked. We can take it. Who else is there beside you? That is as a senbei. This thing is extraordinary. As Lily said, it's a crime. I already got the administration to call the police. I believe that innocent people are innocent. I hope the assistant B can be brought for the company. Cooperate well with police investigation. Police officer. Which one of you is spy, Poo? I am. A spy. Please come with me. Wait. Sorry, officer. This matter is internal to our company. It's not clear yet, and the people who reported it is one of our Chengchuan group. Sorry to trouble you, but our company showed up. A leak of secrets. We do need the police and legal aid. Lily, go and file a case with the police. Police officer, let's go. Okay. Lu Xiaohe, I didn't leak the documents. I will find the evidence to prove my innocence. Uh, assistant Pai, Mr. Liu is still inside. What are you doing here? I told you, I will prove myself innocent. After all, there are so many people in the company waiting for the evidence that things of Besa. The things of Besa don't need you to get involved. Why don't you let me check? Are you worried? Mr. Liu, the surveillance of the past few days can't be found so far. How is that possible? Just contacted the building manager. Said it was maintenance surveillance. Maintenance? How could it be so coincidental? Liu Chaohe, do you believe me? You also believe Xiaoyan's worth. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You listen to me. I'll give you an explanation. You don't have to say. I'm sure I will find it for myself. <laughs> you forgot what happened before. You can't just listen to me and stay here. Chao Ha. Actually, these years, it's hard for me abroad. He used to beat me up. My previous injuries took me a long time to heal. He came back recently. You are the only place I'll be safe. You can come to Cheng Chuan on second month, but no more than a month. So Xia Yan, what's your purpose going to Cheng Chuan? What is it? Check it for me. The call records of Xia Yan, even these were deleted records, you also need to find them. Someone, don't think that you can't have a relationship with Mr. Lu so everything can be fine? Default trust secrets? Such thing? The although you have Mr. Lu, he also can protect you. Mm. <gasps> Regardless of whether you say it's true or not, even I have a relationship with Mr. Lu, then I teach you a lesson. Still have a capital. Baipu! You're too arrogant! I'm not too arrogant! For you to say if you really want to say... Give me the evidence! Xiaohe... Xiaoyan, come to my office. Lu Xiaohe, even you don't believe me? You found Luo Cheng, and then colluded with his sister Luo Juan, paid off your ex-husband to expose. Chao He, what do you say? How can I to find him? You see? This, Chao He, I can explain. That's fine, because you turn to Yunsheng. You can explain to the police. According to the investigation, you are suspected of stealing a commercial jet. Please, follow me to the police station. Sir, thank you for my trouble. <gasps> Joha, you can't treat me in such a way. Bye, Pooh. I just... Sorry. 
I didn't tell you before, because I was afraid to wake a sleeping dog. I really don't hope you're involved in this business war, okay? I just... Asisente, there are flowers for you in the reception. Please sign for it. Okay. Your flowers. Do you have to marry Jiang Lin? Your mother would let you marry such a man? He saved my mother's life. What kind of life-saving favor? Mr. Liu, Jiang Lin and I will definitely get married. Besides, the wedding is less than a month away. What are you looking at? Don't you have anything to do? Bu Tao, did you get my flowers? Yes. Tomorrow, we're going to try on wedding dresses. You haven't forgotten, have you? No, I haven't forgotten. Okay, then remember to come tomorrow. I'm hanging up now. Okay. Bye, Pooh. What are you doing? Let me go! You're living in my house now, and you're getting married with Jiang Lin. You want to get married from my house? Master, Miss Bai currently lives in the young master's house. Yes. That's fine, if you don't mind. You're trying to provoke me. You just said Jiang Lin saved your mother. When? Where? This has nothing to do with you. What do you mean it has nothing to do with me? Then I'll do something that does. Luchawa, let me go. Stop. What? Look at what you look like now. I didn't know Mr. Lu had a pension for company sex. Aren't you afraid people will find out? Let them know. Are you crazy? Are you scared? Aren't you afraid of anything? What if I see this again? Okay. Oh my god. I didn't expect Mr. Lu was really captured by Asisembe. And he even did that kind of thing in the company. Luo Cheng, this time you're playing tricks on me. The price you paid was your sister Luo Juan and Xiaoyan. If it happens again, I'll make you pay even more. Mr. Lu, I failed this time. Doesn't mean I'll fail next time. We'll always have people and things they care about, don't they? Next time, you won't be able to get this far. What the hell do you want? What I want is simple. The project in Beisa. Since you don't want to give up, then I have time to play slowly until you're willing to let it go. Putao! What are you doing here? I came to pick you up from work. I heard about the lake. Who told you that? I went back to the old house yesterday. Grandpa told me. Grandpa did send someone to spy on me in Jinshuan. They tried to frame you at first. But now, we're getting married in 20 more days. In my opinion, how about quitting your job? I didn't do it. Why should I quit? No, we'll get married sooner or later. After we get married, we'll definitely have children. You just stay at home. I'll support you. Stop the car. Hey, what are you doing? I asked you to stop the car! Put out! Put out! I ask you to quit for your own good. Why are you angry with me? Who's so blind? I thought you two were going to spend time together. He splashed yelling all over. How can I spend time with him? When did I splash him? There you say you didn't do it on purpose? 
Well, why should I admit to something I didn't do, huh? You show her. You don't admit it, do you? What do you want me to say? Admit I'm jealous? Admit I splashed him? I don't have that much time. Right. You're right. I broke the rules of the game. By Pooh. I'll ask you one more time. Do you really want to marry Jung Lin? Of course. Just because you saved your mother? Isn't this reason enough? <sighs> it's my fault for being blind and falling for you. But you can do this to my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie, are you okay? Send her to the hospital. Hurry up! Hello, Jung Lin. Come to the city hospital. I have an emergency at work. I need you to help me. Okay, Uncle. Was it really that time that led to your marriage to Jung Lin? Guys, my wedding is in two weeks. I hope you will be able to attend. Thank you. Thank you. Assistant Bay, are you really getting married? I hope you will be able to attend. Is she really just playing around with Mr. Lu? Mr. Lu, well, I'm going to try on wedding dresses this afternoon. Could I take a half day off, Mr. Lu? Fine. You want to ask for leave? Okay. Go ahead. Hello, Mr. Lu. Hey, hey, take a guess. Who did I see? <laughs> Speak up. Your little assistant and your nephew are trying on wedding dresses. I wonder if Mr. Lu would be interested in taking a look. <laughs> Where is it? Hey, hey, I really didn't expect that, Mr. Lu. I was wondering, why did you do that to Shayan? It turns out you and Lil Putao are really having an affair. <laughs> what a well-dressed beast. This is getting married and you still do this? <laughs> Cut the crap. Send me the address. Okay, I'll send it to you. <laughs> Song. You came so fast. You're not in a hurry to work, are you? Why did you rush to be someone's homebreaker? Mr. Lu. <laughs> Lu Cheng has been targeting Bai Pu recently. He threatened her several times. I'm afraid that her life may be in danger. Lu Cheng threatens you with Bai Pu? Yeah. Why are you so interested in being the other man? Get out! I didn't mean to say this, but Luo Cheng knows how much you like and care about Bai Pu. That's why he used her to threaten you. What about her? Bai Pu doesn't know anything. Are you really gonna marry Jiang Lin? Sure. Because he saved your mother? Is this reason a sufficient? She's just a heartless person. An ingrate. Hi. Can you help me check if there was a lady named Zhang Yu at the city hospital back then? Her hospitalization records. It was about seven years ago. Let me know as soon as you have any information. What are you doing? There's something I need to figure out. Calm down. Let's give the matter further thought and discuss it later. If things are really what I guessed, then Jung Lin and Bai Pu cannot be together. This is my first time to see an uncle trying to get his nephew's girlfriend. He's not from the Lu family. His mother was also adopted by the Lu family. It can be considered as half of the Lu family, right? Hey! Mr. Lu!
Babe, I'm trying on a wedding suit with Bai Pu. I searched all over the house. I didn't find what you said either. The things Chang Yu left. Not to mention the real estate certificate of gift. Bai Pu's mother wouldn't lie to me either. You swear to get the inheritance and you will immediately divorce Bai Pu. Why did you say that again? I want you to swear. I swear that when I receive that inheritance, I will divorce Bai Pu and marry you. So we can be together forever. We have to stop this conversation. Goodbye. It turns out that Chiangli decided to marry me to get the inheritance left by my mother. I talk about the gift my mother left to me. It's just an excuse to persuade me to continue with the wedding. For so many years, Pepo. How dare you waste so much time on this man? There are still two weeks left. I must find that inheritance. You? Why are you here? Can I come and see my future nephew's wife? So why did you get to the fitting room? I've seen this scene before. Besides, whether you can wear the wedding dress, it isn't settled yet. What do you mean? Didn't you hear about what he said? I did. Can't you not marry him? What do you want me to say? You want me to admit being jealous? Admit that I splashed it, right? Why do you care so much about my marriage with Jianlin? If I don't marry him... Can this change anything? Are you okay, Pu Tao? Why has it been so long? I have to go out now. Wait a minute. When your mother was hospitalized, it was Zhang Lin who handled the procedures. But it's me who saved her from the Bai family. What did you say? Are you alright, Pu Tao? Right away! I'll find the evidence. Why mom left for me should be at home. Indeed, there's the real estate certificate of gift. The effective date of transfer is my birthday. It's also the date of my wedding with him. <gasps> Shall we? You are even more shameless than I imagined. Why does it smell like cigarette? What are you doing? I've already said that your mother's things are unlucky. Then I choose a good day to burn for her. Let her enjoy this even till she die. Who asked you to move my mom's things? Bai Pu, you caused her to lose her child. We haven't solved our problem yet. What do you think you are? Did you really save my mother at the time? Why did you suddenly ask this question? Answer my question! It's been so many years, I don't remember. You're still lying! It wasn't you who saved my mother. It's Blue Chao He. Right? Now I finally know. So everything between me and you is a lie! How about now, Mr. Liu? Have you made up your mind? Don't you even think about the BASA project. Then you can only choose between the BASA project and the safety of Bai Pu. I'll choose both. Yes. Bai Pu is a woman who's about to get married. She's not worth giving up on the BASA project, which worths billions. How about I give you a hand? If she dies, she doesn't have to be your nominal nephew's wife. You don't have to hand over the BASA project to me, either. How dare you threaten her safety? 
Believe it or not, she's in danger. I will kill you. Baipu, your mother has died. You are now investigating who saved her and still keeping her things. What's the point of doing this? Wu Tao, she's right. Death cannot be reversed. Keeping these things... Shut up! Baipu, how innocent do you think your mother is? You need to figure it out that she's just a mistress. You're a daughter of the mistress. You have been seizing John Lin's time all along. Does it not enough? I knew. How disgusting was what your parents did back then? You're not unaware, are you? Okay. Let me tell you the fact. Your father cheated on your mother during her pregnancy. Your mother is trying to win back her husband's heart. Then your mother deceived my mother. Your mother personally sent a so called mistress to her husband's bed. Do you understand? The so-called mistress and the mistress' daughter are the biggest victims. Stop. If it weren't for your mom's property, what do you think Jianlin could be with you? Stop. She killed our child. It's impossible to forget it. This is embroidered by your mother herself. Your wedding gift. Before your mother died, she personally explained to my mother. Tell her to give this to you when you get married. You see? There are Mandarin ducks playing in the water. Give it to me! You want it? What a pity. You have no chains. Bai Po! My handkerchief! Bai Po, calm down! The handkerchief is calm. <laughs> An illegitimate daughter was never seen by the public. If she could marry into the Lu family, she'd be loving in her dreams. John Lin did the paperwork. The person was saved from the Bai family. I would like to try, Mr. Lu. Do you want the base of project? Or the safe of the Bai family? You choose one. So, it was all a mistake. Trust me. I'll make everything go back to the way it was before. Hu Tao, we've been together for so many years. For the sake of our relationship for so many years, just marry me with no worries. We can't bring back the death back to life. It's useless to keep this stuff, isn't it? Chang Lin, you're still acting. Is that interesting? But if you want to play, I will play with you to the end. Okay, the wedding will go on as planned. All the humiliation I've suffered I'm going to return it to them. What up? You look great today. But... Shara, here's some evidence I've prepared. Please take care of it. Of course I will. I'm waiting for the big show. Well, I gotta go to the backstage to prepare. It's time to end it. Why are you here? You look beautiful today. Don't do it, okay? Lichawa, I want to end all of this. And it's time to end it. If you want to take revenge, I can help you. Why do you have to? It's time for me to get there. Bye, Pooh. Mr. Lu, are you single? Grandpa, 
Uncle is not married yet. If Jolene and I get married earlier than Uncle, is it appropriate? Uncle, help! Jolene and I are in room 309 Thailand Hotel. Could you come here to take me home? So, Bai Pu, to you, I'm just a guy for pleasure? Mr. Lu, are you explaining something to me? Are you? Well, I'm not the one, right? Will you kiss a stranger? So... We are done. I... I like her. Lu Zhao stop express your kindness to me. I almost cannot stop loving you. Lu Zhao thank you. It is you to let me know that there is someone who are willing to be nice to me without concern for himself. Maybe... You're the one my mom talks about? Atticat. Atticat. How can I? Today, the new couple are here to attend their once-in-a-lifetime wedding, to make loyal vows to their lifetime love. Kroom Jonglin, will you take Bai Pu to be your wife and stake a claim? Yes, I do. Right, Bai Pu, will you take Jonglin to be your husband and stake a claim? In sickness and in health or other reasons, will you still be his side? and be faithful with him for the rest of your life? No. Today, I have a gift to you. I have a gift to you and my older sister. You have been cheating on me with Bai Lu, and you think I don't know that? Why do you want to get married with me? You're very clear. Well, I already ruined that legacy, so the wedding today needs to be cancelled. What are you talking about? You have done many things for Bai Lu. What a pity. Finally, she is just the male poucher you described. Bullshit! This is bullshitting! Why, Pooh, what the hell are you talking about? Go and catch her! She's insane! Absolutely! It's impossible. You. You messed up my scheming plan, you bitch. You deserve to be looked down upon. Do you know why your mother gave that legacy to me? Because she's afraid of you are unmarriable. Except me. Who will marry you? I do. Go away. Bai Pu, come with me. Show her. What are you doing? Dad, it's my happiness. I make my own decision. You. Go to get them back. Yes, sir. Rujawa, are you afraid? With you, I'm not afraid of anything. But Grandpa... Grandpa? No Grandpa. You have no relation with Jiang Lin now. May I ask you again one last time? Are you willing to elope with me? Where can we go? I... Young Master. Young Master. Master asks you to come back. You all see that? She betrayed me. I am the victim. She betrayed me. I am the victim. She betrayed me. She betrayed me. 
Shut up. If you cause trouble again, don't think about the shares of the company. I'm done. I'm goddamn done. Uh, Jolly. Fuck off. What the hell, Jolly? You asshole. How could you treat Jolly like this way? You useless <laughs> muck. If you're driving by Lee family, you should break up with Xiao Liu. It's not a big deal if you ruined yourself, but you make my family in trouble too. You are not even a member of the Liu family. If I knew, I wouldn't let Xiao Liu be with you. Fuck off. You guys are waiting, waiting for my revenge. Miss Bai, Master asked me to remind you. Don't forget your appointment with him. What appointment? I do. Nothing. Go back home. Young Master, please. Dad! You! You forgot yourself at the wedding! Just for a woman, a decent of Lou family. You don't care about that. It's not my fault. You don't admit your fault. It's John Lin's fault. So you can be with Pai Pu? We are. Enough. Stop saying that you are not together. What you are thinking now, I am very clear. Listen, I don't agree. My marriage. Do I need your agreement? So you can be together with your nephew's fiance? What the hell? Jiang Lin can be together with his fiance's older sister. Didn't he disgrace the Lu family? It's not our family. Aren't you either? If you have to be so stubborn, I am good at make you can't meet with her. Of course, if you want her still living in Changchuan, you'd better give yourself a little distance. You think I will listen to you? You could try to challenge me. Congratulations! Have we finally paid off? What do you mean? Unbelievable, right? Everyone at the office knew it. Mr. Lu almost took you away from the wedding. They all knew? Yes! I heard Mr. Lu stood there with the gods and shouted, I will marry her! Imagine how charming he was! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Lu. Mr. Lu, Beisa sent this to us to report about the exploitation of the first raw materials. Do you have anything else to say? What? What was the appointment about on that day? Excuse me, Mr. Assistant Bay. Bad news. Bad news from Bisa. There was an excavator malfunction and killed the worker on the site. The family of that worker is still at the hospital? Try comforting them. How's everything going on at the project site? Okay. Block the site. Keep an eye on it 24-7. Everything will be fine. Is it you? Lu Cheng? I had no choice. You weren't gonna opt out. I had to take it over on my own. After Cheng Chuan took the Pesa project, the project's been screwed up multiple times. You choose to take risk of others' lives for profits? Is it your attitude of doing business? Don't forget, your punch is still on my revenge list. Don't worry. We'll find out the truth. You will go to jail and stay with your sister. What does Lu Cheng wanna do? Is it Lu Cheng again? Let's report to the cop. Right after that accident came out, Mesa already called the cops. You gotta wait for the investigation results. By who? This time. They are targeting at me. I'm with you forever to find out the truth. Jialin! All because of Baipu. We my family have to tolerate all the blames. We are so embraced. My parents have to suffer all the judgment. Even when I come outdoors, people scold me to be a maid potter. The only one who should disappear from the world is Baipu. Why is everyone scolding us? Baipu, you're such a jinx. 
Charlene, say something. Everyone knows the things about us and the Lu family. Don't ever mention Lu family. They didn't see me as their family at all. They see me as a pet dog that they can throw away at any time. And our baby. Yes, our baby. Bai Pu killed our baby. And the inheritance that was almost mine. That bitch screwed it up. I'm gonna sabotage her reputation. I'm going back to the Lu family. If I lose that little shares of the Lu group, I will have nothing left. Okay, you stay at this hotel room. I'm going to the project site. Don't run around. Why don't you let me go there? You shouldn't go. I'm worried if Luo Cheng has any conspirators in Beza. It's, it's not safe there. While you stay here, I'm less worried. This Beza accident was so abnormal. Luo Chong even took the risk of others' life just to target Luo Chao. Now, Luo Chao is going to the project site. Will he be targeted by Luo Chong's conspirator? He could be there too. Is it that one? Yes, that excavator fell off suddenly and hit my brother. Excuse me. Lose your hope. Be cautious. Your lover is in my hands. What did you do to Bai Pu? You can curse. Don't you dare hurt her. Mr. Lu! Lu Chung, I'm warning you. I've got evidence about you if you want to survive. Let Bai Pu go. I give you options. Either Pesa or her. Well, now you've got neither. I'm giving the evidence to the police right away. Just wait and see. Faster! Lose your her chose base over you. Aren't you sad? You lost the base project. Are you satisfied? <laughs> You're so pretty. It's a waste if I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I should let my brothers enjoy you. They are all masculine. You would like them. <laughs> 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 Stay away from me! Stay away from me! <laughs> My bow! Let go of me! Let go of me! My bow! Look out her! My bow! Are you hurt? Kill him! Don't tell her! Goodness, you're fine. Don't tell her! Don't tell her! Brother, this is here! Run! Run away! You're finally awake. Thank God. You know, because you were scared to death, you have been in coma for a day. What about Luo Chao? What about Luo Chao? Did he awake? He... he is still in coma. He had a brain injury. And I don't know when he will awake. It's all because of me. He hurts so badly because of me. Chao, when will you wake up? It's all my fault. If I did as what you said, to stay at the hotel, you will not hurt so badly. 
Sorry, Luo Zhang has been arrested. Things over. Hope you will awake soon. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Lu. Bai Bu, because of saving you, Zhao He was almost dead. You should understand that. For him, your love is burden. Mr. Lu. You don't need to continue. There is such a large gap between your identity and you are the ex-fiancé of Zhang Lin. You love him, but your love cannot give him any benefits. Zhao He is my only child. I hope that he wouldn't lose his mind because of a woman. And I hope that he also won't do something stupid for a woman. But Bai Bu, if you miss him, you will never meet a man who can use his life to protect you. I know what you mean. But Mr. Lu doesn't wake now. He saved me, even just to show my thanks. I want to take care of him. Till he wake up. Can I? Miss Bai. I hope you can do as what you said. Tell her after you wait. If you also don't want to see me anymore, I will disappear from your life. Grandpa, I heard that you went to the hospital to visit my uncle today. How is he? No good news. He is still in coma, and even the doctors don't know when he will awake. I think this is the best chance to ruin her reputation. I remember you still have the share of change one, so why not use this change before your uncle awake? You can ask your grandma permission and enter the change one, and then get Beipu out of the change one. If we succeed, no one will support her. I heard that because of my uncle's coma. The staff in Chengchuan are all afraid. I, I know that I did something wrong before. Grandpa, can you give me one more chance and let me learn something? Let me go to Chengchuan to learn something. I really recognize my fault, and I want to do some compensation for the loss I did for the Liu family. Jianglin, you go to Chengchuan really just want to learn something, not for your private revenge. Grandpa, I just. I want to help you and Uncle before you awake, Grandpa. Please give me the chance and let me learn something. Let me try. The later my Uncle awake, the more unstable the Chengchuan will be. It's no good for the long-term development of our company. Okay, you can enter the Chengchuan tomorrow. Thanks, my dear Grandpa. Well, Lu Jiaohe, the rumor about you has spread in the Wu Company. If you don't await, the staff and the Changchun will quit their job. Assistant Bay, Assistant Bay, today Charlie will come to our company, acting general manager. Charlie, he comes. Why you are in Jiangcheng City? My uncle is still in coma. As member of the Lu family, I come here to help him. Is there anything problem? Jiang Lin, what exactly do you want to do? Board meeting in one minute. If you want to say something, you can convey at the meeting. Assistant Bai. This morning, there is an anonymous letter sent to a senior manager. It accused that you have a turbulent private life. Assistant Bai. Please explain to us. Anyone who wants to know the thing can look at the anonymous letter. A woman like you use your own body to seduce the leader and earn a position in company. I think you're not suitable for a company. Jiang Lin, don't talk such dirty rumors. If no one against my proposal, I think Miss Bai can get your stuff and get out. Who gave you the right to fire my woman? Jiang Lin. What did the master want you to do here? You're here to make trouble for me, aren't you? Uncle, I'm doing this for the good of the company. Well, shut. Assistant Bai, even if she seduced someone else, that's her personal business. You're not allowed to fire people just because of this, let me tell you. Now I'm back. You've been working as acting general manager. Now it's time for you to step down. Get out of here. 
you guys, they, out of this room, if anyone spreads any rumors about Assistant Bai, I'll make you suffer. This meeting is over. Let's live now. Assistant Bai, come with me to my office. Watcher has been detained, but we still need to provide clues to the police. What's wrong? First thing you said was about Lu Jing. I'm glad that you're okay. I woke up yesterday. I heard that Zhang Lin came to the company, so I rushed back overnight. Is it because of me? If it wasn't for you, how could I endure the pain? Didn't listen to the doctor's advice, and I came all the way here to fight for you. Mr. Liu, Officer Wang has already called. He will wait for you at the police station at 2.30 p.m. This is the evidence cr the crimes committed by Luo Cheng. It's not just as simple as stealing trade secrets. Also, the issue of workers for the Besa project, they're all because of him. He deserves to be punished even more. Mr. Liu, we'll review the documents you submitted. Luo Cheng is still in detention. Once the detention period is over, we'll find a date to formally arrest Luo Cheng. Good. Thank you for your hard work. Thanks. When we get back to the office, We'll finalize the compensation plan for the base of worker families. I've been looking into it. The worker who died left a wife and two children. The oldest is only in a middle school. I think we should offer his family a suitable job and a chance for the kids to go to the local school. Leave this to Lily. Okay. By the way, I was in a coma for a long time in order to save you. Don't you want to show me any appreciation? You do have different identities. And you are Zhang Lin's ex fiance Your love for him doesn't help him in any way. He's my only son. I don't want him to lose his mind for women. And I don't want him to do such ridiculous things for women. What are you thinking about? I have promised your grandpa when you wake up. I will. You leave me and leave Jiangcheng City, right? Bai Pu. Nobody can stop our relationship. No one can. You go back to the old house with me later? When we get back to the old house, don't say anything. If my father says anything serious, I'll accept any beating or punishment. Will he really hate you? I don't know. He used to hit whoever made him angry. Dad. All my words have been ignored by you, right? You insist on bringing her back! Dad, I've told you before. I don't want you to interfere in my relationship. I brought her back just to let you know. If you don't like her, we can just leave. How dare you talk to me like that? Somebody come here. Bring me the whip. Yes, sir. Kneel down. Today, I'll show our ancestors what a good son I've raised. Ugh. Why are you against my decision? Why are you against my decision? Ugh. <gasps> Uncle don't hit him. I like him first. Dad, if there's anything you want, just blame me. I suppose you aren't mad at me anymore after the beating. Get out of here, both of you! Are you okay? That's my dad. He'll get over it after the beating. Well, are you really going to leave me? After I woke up from the coma? I was thinking, after you wake up, if you say that you don't want to see me anymore, I would disappear from your world forever. And now? You still want to leave me? Do you? I just want you to say it. Say you don't want to leave me. Is that so hard for you?
What do you mean? If you want it, I will do it. Okay, since you're so obedient to me, then go home and bring me your residence registration card. Take a look at it, everyone. That bitch is not a good person at all. It's not that I mean to her. Wow, I didn't expect an assistant by is that kind of person. She looks so quiet and nice. And he spread rumors in the company. So I'm telling you that what I just said is true. If you have anything to say, you can ask me face to face. There's no need to do it behind my back. What did they say that wasn't true? Aren't you the Bai family's illegitimate daughter? Didn't you cause your sister Bai Liu to miscarry? You're a bad fucking woman. You are not loyal to your fiancé and you have been always trying to seduce powerful men. I was not loyal to you? What about you? I'm afraid I can count the number of times you betrayed me. I'm not going to tell the details in the office because I don't want to embarrass you. I didn't expect you to deny it and slander me. Bai Pu, don't be such a bitch. Why are you pretending? Here is my place. If you want to make a scene, go back to your place also. This is my woman. It's none of your business. I knew you two have an affair a long time ago. Bai Pu, how dare you say you didn't betray me? Shut up. Don't forget. What did you and Bai Lu get together? Whose child did she carry? So you're acting like a victim. Who are you showing it to? You've had enough with Cheng Chuan. Here's not the place for you. Pack your stuff and get out of here. Uncle, if you say one more word, you won't even go back to the Lu family. What's wrong with all of you? This is my woman. It's none of your business. Why did you say that? Outside just now? Which words? You know what I'm talking about. If I don't make it clear, are we going to be like this for the rest of our lives? I don't mind. The question I asked you in the car last time. Can you answer me now? <laughs> you were so obedient to me. Then why don't you go home and bring me a residence registration card? What was the question? I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> you don't know? Don't say it again. Miss Baipu, when will you bring out your residence registration card? Then we can register our marriage. What is this? Not even a formal proposal. Who wants to marry you? Ah. Uh -huh. <gasps> Hey, Pastor Zenbei, what did Mr. Lu talk to you about? What's your relationship with him? Ask him yourself. Bye, Pooh. Wait for me after work. We'll go back together. Mr. Lu? May I ask, what is your relationship with Assistant Bai? It's about to be a legal relationship. <sighs> Oh my god, did I hear you right? Soon to be legal relationship! When did you get married? <laughs> I sent you to Changchuan to learn. Not to cause trouble. Look what you've done! Grandpa, I know I'm wrong. I really know I'm wrong. What's the point of talking about it now? You've just brought your own shame to the world. Grandpa, I was deceived by Bai Pu. She lied to me. I was so angry. That's why I want to go to Cheng Chuan. I want to teach her a lesson. What's the point of talking about it now? Wasn't it you who got her sister pregnant? Didn't you almost strangle her to death? I haven't gone after you yet. Grandpa, I know I'm wrong. I won't do it again. I really won't next time. You have to believe me. Enough! I plan to send you to work in Changchuan for a period of time to see your potential. Since your mind is not on your job at all, then I'll take back the shares of the Lu crew. Don't be here to blame others. Grandpa. Get out! I'm done. Everything is done this time. Did Lu Zhaohei really announced in the office that he's going to marry Xiao Pu? 
Charlie heard it with his own ears. How can it be fake? You! Can't you and Zhang Lin wait after they get married? It's a big deal now. Well, now our Bai fam, we don't even know how to face others outside. Where do you expect me to hide my face? Do you think I'm not sad when I was pointed at and scolded outside? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. How can you blame Xiao Liu for the current situation of the Bay family? After all, it's all your fault. You have caused a lot of trouble outside. We wouldn't have so much trouble without Bai Pu. You! Get off. Why? Just get off. You call me here but you don't say a word. You call me here. You don't talk to me. You know what? I do have something to say to you. Say it. Close your eyes first. Quickly. Assistant Bai. From the first time you kissed me, I was thinking this woman is crazy. The meeting is over. Don't play like a bitch. Why are you pretending? You have no idea. A completely different person than you were at work. I told myself that many times. Maybe you just want to play with me. But every time I look at your eyes, I can feel that you're serious. I've also been asking myself, why can't I reject you firmly? I don't know the answer until now. What's the answer? The answer is... Is that the answer? Will you marry me? You haven't answered my question. I love you. It was just the right size for you. You know, you're all mine. <laughs>